Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are looking at custom variables. Custom variables allow you to give customers a choice or even allow them to give input like text or a email address when checking out. You could use this, for example, while offering a clan tag. People could then type the clan tag, for example, TBX for Tabex. This would then automatically be used inside of the command run on the server. This allows you to create even more flexible packages and offer more choices and interaction with your packages. We can find our packages straight from the dashboard on the left by going to packages. And when creating a package, we got quite a few options. The options you get depend on what kind of store type you're using. First of all, the basic information. We have a name, a description. We can select what category this package belongs to. We also have our image on the right. We can see how this represents. We have our category and then we have our packages. Variables allows us to attach custom variables that we created to this package. Tabex has several built-in variables. We can use those variables inside of our commands. If I use the time variable, when Tabex runs this command, it will automatically change this variable to the time of the purchase. So you can see all these variables on the left and what it represents on the right. These work across all games. We also have some game specific variables. And on top of that, we allow you to create your own custom variables. You could, for example, offer a clan tag and on your web store, let a player type in three letters, for example, TBX for Tabex. And then that would actually run as a command. You would first have to create your own custom variables. You can find this under web store and variables. We then have to set an identifier this will be the actual variable that we use inside of our command. A description, this is what the customer will see on the web store. We also have several different types of options you can give the customer. In this case, it's a dropdown. We have several different types of helmets and we also have the value they represent. So in-game 310 would mean a diamond helmet and 306 would mean a iron helmet. Of course, this depends on the game or platform you're using. You can also set different prices per option. We can also set a default option, add options, or remove the ones that we already have in our list. If you want to, you can also reorder by dragging these around. Then when we have a custom variable configured with all the options we want to give to the customer, we can then attach it to this package. So for example, we can say the helmet variable. This way, the custom variable option will actually be shown to the customer. You can see here when adding the package to our basket, we then get the options that we added to our custom variable. And whatever we choose, it will automatically adjust the command to use the proper value. And then we can add it to our cart. It's not just drop down menus. There are several different types you can choose from. For example, you could also allow text and then giving a minimum and maximum length and setting what kind of characters are allowed. Depending on what type you choose, you will get different kind of options or no options at all. Custom variables are a great way to offer more flexible packages and more options to your customers. If you're not done watching yet, you can click here on the right for our latest release or on the left for something that we think suits you best. If you think I want even more, of course, feel free to subscribe. This way you will be notified when we release new content every Friday. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.